everyone and welcome to my channel I'm Melanie and I predominantly do vlogs daily vlogs at the moment with what's going on and how we're locked down I'm trying to document my struggles with anxiety and depression during lockdown so if you like that kind of thing or you want to know about anxiety or you want to know how someone with extreme anxiety and depression is coping then that could be something you'd like to watch I also like to do what I refer to my other content which could be anything from an unboxing video to showing new things for the first time, trying things on camera, experience video, a beauty box unboxing, clothing haul, that kind of thing. So today's video is what I got in my last Wick Nice order. So I've had this about three weeks and if you've been watching my vlogs you'll know I've been extremely unwell for a long time and it's only this last week. That I've started to get a little bit better and I did initially open my wick nice order on Instagram around the time I got it I had a little bit of energy and I did it because I like to support small businesses and I like people to see what I've got in hope that it might encourage them to buy something from that small business because I will only buy the best of the best now and I won't promote people I don't want to promote like I was forced to do in the past so wick nice is run by a lovely girl called Ash in Ireland and She's the mum of four boys. I don't know how she manages to keep a small business going and, and look after four boys, but she does. And I don't know what number order this is. It might be my fourth or fifth. I know I didn't order in the last restock because she did. It felt like a bit of a rush and also I didn't have money and also I knew I hadn't used any of these. Um, and she was basically going to shut her shop on Sunday, which was last Sunday. And... I just thought I've got a ton of wax melts I've not been using wax melts I started using wax melts again last night because as I said my health is a lot better for seven weeks I couldn't stand the thought of burning a wax melt so I didn't buy any in her last restock but hopefully in the next restock I'll need some because hopefully I'm going to start getting through my wax melts so she does these lucky bags which is what you can see on the screen and it was the first thing I ever bought from her and it, I wanted it more than anything. I'd wanted one for months and I kept missing out. And my first order was literally a lucky bag and a big bean. Um, I've actually got a big bean here um, that I bought at Christmas. And it's been in here and I, I keep forgetting to burn it. So I'm actually going to try and keep it till next Christmas because it is a Christmas scent. It's white Christmas. But this is basically what a big bean is and I wanted to show you just so you knew. If it'll ever focus what a big bean is and that's it so that's what my first order was it was a lucky bag and i think it was around halloween because it had spiders in it and i was a little bit freaked out even though they were plastic and i was really happy with the lucky bag um i think i ordered again in november i definitely ordered in december and did i order january yeah i did this was january weren't it because the last one was obviously in february um, no it wasn't, I ordered January yeah I did, um, the only month I didn't order was March I think I'm getting confused because the Wick Nice restocks are the end of the month typically I think, um, or right at the start of the month I can't remember but I know I didn't order in March um, and that was just because I have too much wax melts and only in the last week I've got back into using them again. I need to go through what I've got, what I don't want. If it's not been opened, it's going to a charity shop and what I have and I don't think I'm going to use again. I'm just going to put it in the bin and start afresh. I've got a lot of stuff here. So I bought items in the previous restock and you can do this thing where you can buy them and you can put them in an open box and then when you finish putting up items in the open box, which you can take up to three months to do, you then close the box and pay the postage. So I had bought a few items beforehand and I closed the box even though I think I'd I'd planned on getting a room spray and I forgot but I do have a lot of air fresheners that I need to get through in cans. So eventually when I've used all them up I'll probably go on to just buying the ones from Wick Nice. So I'm going to show you the contents of the Lucky Bag. Then I'm going to show you the items that I bought on the same day and the items that I bought in the previous month. Although I can't remember what I bought when, I'm just going to show you as one big lot. In the lucky bag was the in the bag was these smelly beans. 
and these are in the scent Parma Violets, which I've never ever tried, but I've wanted to try for the longest time. So I was very happy to get these in the bag. Next item, and I could tell these were made more recently because these are the new stickers. They're putting um, the description on the new stickers. So this is Baby Fresh, which I believe is baby powder. And I love that it's a shiny packet rather than the matte packet that I showed you the last one. So that's them. Also in the lucky bag, and I can smell these, are uh, Lemon Marshmallow Buttercream. I love lemon scented products in general, especially if they don't smell artificial. Like I avoid lemon scented cleaning products because every single one I've had except for Lemon Zest by Sephora has smelled artificial. So I like it when I get a good product that smells like proper lemon. And based on what I can smell through the packet, this is very realistic smelling. There was a Big Bean in Salted Caramel. I still have my Christmas one. I bought, I think I bought one or two. And I got one for free. Um, and I've still got them and I'm keeping them in the packet till later in the year. Because I don't really want to use Christmas scents right now. But yeah, I got a Salted Caramel. I got a Balloon, which seems to be a theme in all the Lucky Bags. I got, um, the last one I got a Skull Balloon. Um, and I don't like blowing balloons up because I'm paranoid that they're going to burst in my face. Got this Max and More Lip Balm in Cherry. Someone told me this is from the pound shop, but I've not been in a pound shop in about four years. So I wouldn't know. I have opened it and I've just put it back in the for the purpose of this video. Also in the bag was a giant marshmallow, you know, like a really long one. But I literally ate it the day that I got it. And that's the contents of the lucky bag. Every order that I've made, I've seen to have got a freebie. Typically, either a little bag of the um, smelly beans or a giant bean, a big bean. And this is the scent rhubarb and strawberries. And I can smell these through the packet and they're absolutely gorgeous. Now, I believe this is one of the items that I bought in advance and I put in an open box and it is called Mr Mingo and it's in the scent Blueberry Vanilla. This is absolutely gorgeous to look at. It looks like it's a little bit dark in here. I'm using natural, I am using natural lighting but my light box is on but I feel like it's not really adding any light but it's like a gorgeous minty green colour with some glitter on. Now, I've never had blueberry vanilla before and I wouldn't rush out to buy it because it's not a me scent. It is very strong, so you're not going to need much. I reckon you could cut this in half and then again, again. You're probably going to get six to eight pieces out of this because of how big it is. I just thought it was super cute. I then got Mummy Mingo, which is white and pink. I really don't want to get it out of the packet to show you but I might as well Mummy Mingo is so cute also I think I bought this in the open drop box as well look at the detail into that and how it's come out in one piece and I love like it's white and then pink and that's in American Cream I'm not sure what a dupe, what dupe it is but it's absolutely gorgeous I think this is the last thing I got in the open box, like the month before, I think. Yeah, I think it definitely is. Um, and these are baby mingles, you get a pack of four. And they're in the scent Laundry Furry, which I believe is furry washing liquid. Do you know what you put in your washer or the conditioner scent? And they're cute and they've got little blue glitter on it and I really like these. So, so adorable. I love that the packet's pink on the back. Then in this order, I bought the Lucky Bag and I bought two other items. So I bought this, which was something new she was doing at the time. She's not repeated it again in the last restock. And it is a little heart clamshell kind of pot in the scent Decadent, which is Marc Jacobs. And I just love the colour of it i don't think i've ever had anything in that green shade before 
so it's not my type of scent typically but it's just one of those I'll probably put on when I'm doing things around the house or I'm not in the same room because it is quite a strong perfume which I didn't realise and the final item that I got when I was doing the open box I was trying to get this at that time but in a different scent I think the scent was called something like sparkling lemon and as you know I've said in this video I love se lemon scented products and I missed out on it so in the restock where I bought the lucky bag I picked this up and I got it in the scent coconut island which I absolutely adore but what I love about her brittle is you get a big giant piece and then you get like a smaller piece or sometimes two smaller pieces in the same packet so you do get a lot for your money um there's a sticker on the back but yeah i was really excited to get this i just wish i'd managed to get it in the lemon scent because she doesn't normally typically do the same scents every month like she'll do some same but she changes the scents up which i do like so that's what i bought from wick nice at the end of February, it came in March um, I'm really looking forward to trying them as I said I've not really been doing wax melts for a long time because I've been ill for 7 weeks and then I started to feel okay for a week or two and now I'm getting sick again so but I have been burning wax melts so as I said I'm going to go through what I've got, decide what I don't want what decide what I do want and then add these into my collection and start using them so I just thought I would share with you one of my favourite small businesses I do recommend them. These are probably one of the two to three main wax melt vendors that I recommend. And hopefully I'll use them all up before the next restock. And hopefully I'll have some money to buy some in the next restock. If not, probably the month after. But if you're into wax melts or you're thinking of getting them, then try Wick Nice or Bliss Self Care, which is definitely one of my all-time favourites. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to get an alert every time I upload a similar video. I'll be back very soon with another video, thank you for watching.